County Meath, Ireland. Here in the Boyne River Valley, a large circular mound rises out of the earth, the Newgrange Passage Tomb, built around 3200 BC. It was constructed with over 200,000 tons of stone quarried 75 miles away and contains one passageway that leads to a centralized chamber. Newgrange is one of the most important sites in all of Europe. It was possibly a stone circle with 36 or 37 stones. Only 12 of these still remain. And after that, a huge mound made of stone and earth was built within the stone circle itself. Within this, we have a huge chamber, which is a cruciform shape or a cross. It's got some beautiful carvings on the 97 curb stones that go around the edge, as well as on the main entrance stone and within the chamber itself. Mainly zigzags and spirals, and most notably a triple spiral at the back of the main chamber within the actual site itself. Newgrange was designed to honor the winter solstice, but according to a book published in 2012 called The Newgrange Serious Mystery, the entire mound was also built to align with the star Sirius A in the night sky. The declination of Sirius is the same as the winter solstice sunrise moving across the sky. And through the light box, which is a, a rectangular area just above the main entrance, this is where you witness not only the sunlight coming through, also later in the day, Sirius light coming through as well. The Dogon of Mali in West Africa claimed that their gods came to Earth from the star Sirius B. Ancient astronaut theorists connect these visitors to gods with similar names all over the world. But they also point out an intriguing connection to Newgrange in Ireland. In addition to being in line with the star Sirius, legend says that this megalith was built by a Celtic god with a name that sounds by now eerily familiar, the god Dagda. The main god that's associated with Newgrange is called Dagda. So here, once again, we have this same word that appears to mean something about gods coming from Sirius. The dwellers of the British Isles worshiped a god named Dagda. That cannot be by coincidence. The god known as Dagda was said to be the leader of a group of otherworldly beings called the Tuatha Dé Danann. So the Tuatha Dé Danann were this renowned fairy race that arrived mysteriously in Ireland many thousands of years ago. The supreme deity of the Tuatha Dé Danann was Dagda, Dagda Mór, and he was a renowned god. He was said to have built and lived inside Newgrange. They had very advanced weaponry and uh, different types of what sounds like machinery, but also they taught the high arts of civilization, and they were said to be almost like the shining ones of the biblical tradition. It's almost like a science fiction movie when you start looking at these ancient Irish myths. Could Newgrange have once been an alien outpost on Earth? Was Dagda? the supreme leader of a race of highly advanced extraterrestrials that came to Earth and left a lasting influence on our ancestors. 